And let's now get a check on the weather conditions here in Korea and around the world with our Kelly Park standing by. Good morning, Kelly. Hello and good morning, Yuzan. Well, it's finally about time we get a relief from the chilly temperatures we've been strolling with over the past couple of days. And this morning, we'll be waking up to a temperature with the double digits, which compared to yesterday is pretty high. Now, uh, so we can expect lots of spring-like temperatures throughout the whole day. But unfortunately, we'll be seeing increasing clouds, two overcast skies across the nation with some possible chances of some scattered showers in the central regions, including Seoul and elsewhere in the Chungcheong province and its surrounding locations. So make sure to carry out a small umbrella before you head out. Now tomorrow we can expect much more warmer temperatures to continue throughout the day. Our daily highs will be one to three degrees higher than the seasonal averages, but we will be seeing some scattered showers for the east coast where the air is pretty unstable in the area, but not enough moisture, moisture to clear out the dry air. And moving over to our satellite map, the trough of low pressure uh, passing north will bring lots of clouds with some isolated showers for the central regions. Also remember that the east coast is issued under dry air advisors with gusty winds, so please pay attention to safety uh, with the use of fire. And finally, checking out on today's readings, our morning lows will start off at 10 degrees and rise up to 18 degrees in the afternoon. Daegu and Gwangju will both reach to the low 20s at 20 and 23 degrees respectively while Busan will see a high of 19 degrees. Other regions like Jeju Island and Daejeon will both see a high of 24 and Mount Kangan will be topping out at 9 with a few showers. And that's all for Korea and here's the international weather for viewers around the world.